we're gonna do a dangerous power G4 today. So what you're gonna need is you're gonna need a pick to be able to get your breech O-rings. You may want some oil. Definitely gonna need your favorite lube, grease, blue Loctite, obviously some Allen keys. So first note, bolt stick. If you do find yourself having bolt stick on the gun, um, you know, basically it's too much friction of your bolt on the O-rings, either the O-rings in the breech or the O-rings in your back cap, which can be this guy right here. So you wanna make sure this thing floats smoothly across it. It should be pretty much effortless. Now if you hold it like this and your cap sticks in here, guess what? You got a problem. So you definitely wanna replace it if it sticks at all. It should be free to move. Uh, without further ado, we will pull it apart. So I have upgraded bolt in this one. This is the uh, Tech T L7 bolt, and this thing is absolutely fantastic. If you have a G4, if you're having bolt stick or efficiency problems, switch to the Tech T. You'll love it. You won't regret it. Very much worth the money. Um, <clears throat> so we have breech O-rings in here. Let me see if we can get the light. I doubt we're going to be able to get it. We can get a little bit in there. So we have O-rings here. And then, so we have basically have an O-ring here, we have an O-ring here, and we have an O-ring here. The only way to get them is pretty much with a pick. We have trigger adjustments here. We have our uh, regulator here. We're gonna go ahead and pull that apart. So while we're on the macro line, um, everyone has two problems with the G4s they have leaking macro line, and they have a sticking bolt. So, you know, if you have the bolt stick, you can replace your O-rings, you can switch to a lighter lubrication. Um, but for me, I found, I switched to oil, I still had the problem after a little bit, it kept getting worse, and I ended up finding the O-ring back here was bad, and it was pretty much causing you know, you know the bolt to drag uh, quite a bit excessively. So, <clears throat> make sure, and after, <laughs> make sure you uh, check your O-rings. And after I did the uh, O-ring replacement, I could use whatever type of grease I wanted. Everybody hates on the hater sauce. Oh, big whoop, you know. Uh, use whatever lube you want. Dow 33 based. And this is a Tech T salve. So, with the macro line undone, and everyone also complains about the fittings here too. You can replace so They're like five bucks. Let's see if I don't have too much grease on my hands. Shit. Unscrew the rig. I had grease on my hands. It was a pain in the butt to get it loose to clean my hands. Um, macro line, you know, the fitting here, the cleanness of the cut is going to determine how well it seals. So if you're having problems, you can go ahead and replace it. Just make sure you make a nice clean cut. Otherwise, it's never going to seal. Now I had bolt stick with this. I had the macro line leaks. All I did was pull the macro line out, put it back in. Hasn't leaked since. So we're going to pull apart a rig right now. There's our piston, spring, o-ring, depper piece is basically just uh, you know there's n there's nothing to it. The lower piece is where you have the adjustment. You really don't need to tear down into this. So this is as far as you need to go. Uh, you do have an O-ring here. You have an O-ring here, so when you do go uh, service your gun, you're gonna wanna replace those when you're doing the rig, but you don't have to do it that often. You mainly just need to go in there and clean it, but that's every, uh, I don't even know, what, six, eight cases, something like that. You might wanna check, and just see how dirty it is. A lot of it depends on your air supply, you know, from your local field. Um, Different fields have a different amount of dirt getting inside their uh, <clears throat> air compressor. So, 
set the regulator aside. Um, do the eyes next. So basic maintenance on this, you just need to clean your uh, clean your eyes every now and again, check them. Uh, right here you have your uh, <clears throat> ball detent, you have a spring on the back of your eye cover. You check it for wear, don't lose your spring, make sure it's clean. You can see your solenoid in here if you need to tear down into that. So if you pull your eyes out, you clean them, you don't definitely want to check and make sure you don't have any paint. When you go back in, you want to lock tight this screw right here. You do not want these coming loose. They are very little screws. You will never find them. We'll put our cup, or our ball detent cup back in there, put the spring. Gonna make sure that's fully seated in there. Looks good. Give it a drop of Loctite. Probably a little bit too much there, I'll wipe it off. Oh, way too much. All right. Now, of course, when you have your eyes out, you wanna make sure your eyes are, uh, the holes are clean. Um, you, know, you can use a pick, you can use whatever you want, but whenever you're servicing a gun, if you want to have compressed air on hand to clean out some of the hard to get places, never, never a bad idea. We'll just get this guy a little bit tight. All right. When you're pulling the wires out, you don't want to pull from the wires. <laughs> you want to pull the connector. You have your solenoid right here. You just want to clean everything. Um, you, know, you can see your eyes in here, ball detents. Clean everything in here, but really, there's no need to really separate these two unless you're going after the solenoid. All right, so if you wanted to pull your solenoid out, you could. You have a uh, screw. Let me zoom in here. You can see your uh, flathead screw right here. You pull it out, you support this, and the solenoids are always pretty delicate. So unless you have a reason to pull it out, don't do it. Um, you can pull it out and you can uh, lubricate the internals of your solenoid there. Um, like I said, you know, sometimes you've had some bad luck, you pull it out and uh, it's not gonna work the same. So. We're gonna go ahead and set this aside. And we're gonna pull our wraps. I will say, make sure this bolt is clean before, or the Allen head is clean before you uh, 
try to stick your Allen wrench in there. It is very small. You don't want to have to try to get that guy out after you stripped it. This spring tensioned in there. <clears throat> Pull it out. You've got your spring. You want to make sure this O-ring is good. If it looks bad at all, you're going to want to replace it. You're going to want to lubricate it. You can always pull it from the frame, but you have to pull a circuit board to be able to access your Allen head screws there. I'm not going to do that. There's no point. So for, for your rig, you just want to make sure you have uh, lubricant on your piston so it can slide freely in the, in the surface in here. And you want to make sure you have some lube down here for that inner o-ring. So. Of course, any O-rings you see along the way, you're going to want to replace. Macro lines back in. Okay, so now would be the time you'd want to install your bolt. Um, one good trick is when you go to install it, 
obviously after you've lubed it up is to make sure that uh, you seat it all the way forward. Make sure it moves freely in these O-rings here. If you have any hang up at all, you're going to want to replace the O-rings. Um, should be pretty free to move throughout here. Especially same thing with the back cap. I can't stress that enough. If you can take your bolt, your back cap, you can turn it upside down and your back cap does not slide out easily with gravity. You need to replace your O-ring. Um, you know, once I replace mine, all the uh, woes of the bolt stick have never, have not since returned. However, um, you know, if you do have bolt stick, even if you're using the oil, if you pull the bolt, if you push the bolt all the way forward so it's seated, when you air it up, it's going to slam it back. It's going to push it into the back cap. Um, you know, typically going forward is where it sticks, not the other way around. So typically that will uh, help you fight the bolt stick if you're out on the field. Just pull your degas your marker, you know, push the bolt all the way forward, put the back cap in after you've put some oil on it and, you know, oil on the seals here and the inside on the bolt. Uh, you don't want to over oil it. <laughs> too much oil in there is going to coat your barrel and you're going to have accuracy problems. Um, but past the stock bolt I found the uh, Tech T1 quite a bit more efficient. You can lower the LPR, less kick. You can actually turn down the dwell. Pretty big increase in uh, air efficiency so I'm going to be sticking with the Tech T. Okay guys, thanks.